What is up guys, it's the Nano Bros here and today I'm going to show you how to set up the 14 gallon bio cube and let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to rinse off the tank. So I'm not going to take this into like the sink or the bathtub, I'm just going to spray it all down and then wash it off with a, a rag. Don't use like paper towels or napkins because that will like, it will leave like particles on your glass and it will just be annoying. So use I, this is just regular tap water, it's alright, just make sure you dry it all off when you're done, so just spray absolutely everything just to get like the factory dust off, and maybe like the, um, what's it called here, like your drip trays and stuff, make sure you probably just like throw those in the sink full of water and just let them soak in there for maybe like a couple minutes. So first we're just going to spray it all off here with this bottle of water from the sink. Let's get started. Now that we got the whole thing soaked inside, now we just dry it off with this rag. That's done. Make sure you do the back filter system and rinse off like the heater, the power head. I just got the power head in the mail today. I don't know if you guys can see that in the tank. Um, wash off the return pump. I'm not going to do that because it's pretty simple what to do self-explanatory so make sure you rinse everything down and then we can start adding the rock sand and water alright so after cleaning the tank you can either put your sand in first or put your rock in it does not matter but I'm choosing to put my rock in first and then the sand because then the sand will be able to stabilize the rock and stuff so any I have a bunch of rock over here that I'm not using, like all this, I, I still have like more pieces. And I also have small pieces for fragging too, like this. So I still got a bunch of pieces left. I still got a lot of room for the fish swimming around and stuff and enough area around the glass so I can clean the tank with this right here. You just put it one piece, wrong way. So you just put one piece on the glass the outside of the glass and then one piece in the inside and then it cleans it so you gotta make sure that it goes all the way around without touching any rocks so next I'm gonna put the sand and then the water alright so that's the tank with all the water and dry rock and sand in it. I don't have any filters in there. I'm not doing that um, the black sponge and the chemi pier anymore. I'm just going to um, throw live rock and then just throw, break it up into pieces and just throw it in the second chamber. And then I'm probably going to put like a, some filter floss on it or something. Tomorrow morning we will check on the water and see if it got any clear. And here it is with the lights off zoom in a little bit so here it is with the or here it is with the lights on I meant. so here's the white light here's the blue here's the LED here's just the two blue lights here's just the LED and there's just the fluorescent so tomorrow morning we will see what it looks like tomorrow and yeah stay tuned <laughs> guys I did change the stand because the stand that I had, it wasn't looking too sturdy, but we're gonna fix it. We're gonna like re, we're gonna restabilize it, I guess. All right, what's up, guys? I just woke up a couple of minutes ago, and this is what we have. We have you can see deeper into the sand bed, and you can see the rock formation a little bit more. I'll get you a little bit closer here. Hold up. So you can see a little bit of the rock formation, which I could see it more in person. It's kind of look duller on camera but yeah and the sand has created a fine silt so we have to up our filtration last night I didn't have any filtration all I had was a little sponge in the third chamber which stopped the particles from going into the return pump so now I took the heater out and I put I'll show you guys here and I put the filter cartridge that the BioCube came with and I put the drip tray in so I'll show you that guys right here 
Alright, so as you guys can see, I put the filter cartridge in here, which the heater was in this chamber, but they both don't fit. Alright, so I'm keeping the filter cartridge in here until the whole tank clears up. Once the tank clears up, I'm going to put live rock under... You guys can't see that, I'll just take the camera off. Alright, so, what, what I'm doing is, once the whole water clears up, I'm going to take this filter cartridge out and just put the heater back in. And then I'm going to get a, what's it called here? I'm going to put live rock under this drip tray. I'm going to smash live rock up, which I'm going to get right now after this video. And I'm going to put live rock under the tray, and then I'm going to put a filter pad over this drip tray so it catches all the particles and then drips into the live rock. And then, and then it returns into there, and then it kicks it out over here. Well, I'm going to peck over it after just to get the filter and the live rock because, yeah, because I don't really have any other fish stores near me that really carry, like, there's only fish stores near me that's like an hour away and I'm not going all the way out there. So, yeah. Alright, and that is it. I'm going to re-update you guys with the tank around maybe 5 o'clock. PM so so we'll see what it looks like after 24 hours because right now it's been about 12 hours see you then alright guys I just got back from Petco and I got the live rock I put it in the back which I'll show you and I got the polishing pads which is the fuvel just the fuvel polishing pads as you can tell right there it says water polishing pad and it come, I got the three pack just open it up and here it is. I cut. I kind of cut it. It's a little bit too big. I just cut like the end off right here. And these are really great so far. It's already been. It cleared up a little bit. I say. So it's, it's more clear than this morning. I can, I can tell you that. So I will show you the back. What I have running. So I'll show you guys right now. All right, guys. So what I have here is. I have this the original filter that came with the bio cube which I will be taking out once all the water clears up and I'll be putting the heater in the first chamber right there. Right here we got the fuel polishing pads. I cut one up, there's a little piece right there and a bigger piece right there. Which let me just get a towel here. I'll be showing you what's under that. So then when I put under the polishing pads is, I'll show you guys, hold on, just take them out. So you get, I have the drip tray right here, so it cleans the polishing pads, polishes the water, runs over the drip tray, and I don't know if you guys can see that, is we have live rock. I know it looks like dry rock, but we smashed it up into pieces, and it's and we smash it up into pieces and it's all it's all in there. It's it's live rock. He was brought out of the tank at Petco. Because that's the closest shop that's by us. So yeah, that's what my filter setup is right now. And then I'll just put it back, put everything back in the thing. So this is how I put it back in. So I first put the drip tray in and I soak these first so then it's just all wet so it's just soggy and stuff so it fits in there better make sure it's even with the first chamber and there we go so that is my filter setup so in the afternoon I will show you what it looks like if it got any clear or foggier so see you in the afternoon Alright guys, I'm back. It's 7 o'clock and as you can tell, the tank's doing really good. It's really clear now and I did put the other stand back on. As you can tell, I put the other stand on. And look at how clear the tank is. It's a little more duller on camera. It looks a little more foggy on camera, but in person, it's you can see to the back. Yeah, you can see to the back and I think it's going really good. You can see all the rocks. You can. And this is with the new filtration setup that I did earlier. 
that you guys saw with the regular filter pad that the BioCube came with, the Fluval filter pads, and the Live Rock with that drip tray, and it's doing really good, like I said. And then we got I got to put my heater in, but we still have a whole month to put that heater in, which is it's fine if I didn't put it in yet. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. We have like one subscriber, and I think it's my friend, but make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video, and share this video too to your friends. And yeah, thanks for watching. This is the Nano Bros, and we're out.